Hey everyone, Massimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a really exciting video to show you. It revolves around email automation and more specifically inside of the CRM, the ability to automatically send a task or update fields or even send a follow-up email based on how people interact with you through email. So for example, you automatically email a client through your CRM and they open or click that email. You can then trigger further automations in your CRM based on that. So it's a really exciting topic. More and more clients are asking me about it these days and I'm going to show it to you today. So in this video, I'm going to go through how to find this feature, how to set up the criteria in this feature, and then lastly, all of the actions you can do with that criteria. Please like and subscribe to our channel, like the video, post your comments below, and we'll be sure to answer them. Enjoy the video. Cheers. Hello and welcome. So today we're gonna to be talking about a really, really cool automation inside of the CRM. It's triggering automations off of emails. So this was previously not easy to do slash not doable inside of the CRM. I'll talk about some of the caveats and the watch outs and all of that, but let's get into it here. So how you do this is you need to set up a new workflow rule in the back end of your CRM. So I have videos on that in the past, but you can hit the setting icon up here and then workflow rules, and then you get back here. You're gonna create a new rule and then you'll get to this point. So the key piece here is you have to set up the rule for emails, right? That's the new feature. So we'll hop in here. So now there's two options when you're wanting to set up a workflow from emails. The first is incoming email. So this is if someone sends you an email, you can see in the top right here, I have some emails that have come in or come out, right? And so the use case could be, uh, well, if you sent out a quote to someone or something and they send you an incoming email, then you can trigger a task or an automation. And I'll show you some of that later on in this rule. But honestly, today I'm gonna to focus more on the outgoing email with kind of like a lead slash sales slash prospecting mindset on here. So if we go to outgoing, there's a ton of really cool options here. So the first is when an email sent. Might not be that useful. Probably the most useful ones I see are these next four. So you may wanna know when an email's bounced, right? From your client. Like you don't really know that in Zoho without looking, but you can set this up when an email gets bounced on the client end, you could fire a task for yourself or shoot yourself an email. Um, I'll show you that in the last step of this video. These next three are also really neat as well. So if the client opens the email or if they click the email or if they open and don't reply, you can track all of that now. And so you can then fire tasks off of it. So the scenario I'm gonna to use today is if a client clicks an email. I really care about the people that click an email in this scenario. So I'm gonna go click, I'm gonna hit next. Now it gives you a bit more criteria here, right? And so the first one is, do you wanna set some conditions for this? So if you say no, every email you send out from the CRM, if it's clicked, it's gonna do something. You may not want that. You want to be. A, you may want to be a bit more specific. And so the scenario I always tell people is they hit yes here, and then they go ahead and hit subject. For example, that's what I always do. I hit subject, and uh, then I say subject contains. For example, so what you're going to do is you're actually going to take the subject line of your automated email and put it here, and so. This will allow you to streamline which email you actually care about this automation running for, right? And so you don't have to do subject. And if you wanna do many subjects, you can do this and then make this any and then put subject contains this or subject contains that or subject is this or subject is that. The reason why I'm sometimes worried about is, is if they respond, it goes RE colon, right? And so I would recommend using contains, especially if it's a reply one. If it's a reply one, that's definitely important. So now we're gonna hit subject contains hello YouTube. Right, And then the next piece is, well, what module do you wanna do this for? Because whenever an email's sent out, it's attached to someone, right? Like a lead or a client. So in this example, I'll hit lead. You can choose client. It also shows any custom module. It won't show account, it won't show deals because technically emails aren't sent from those things. An account is an entity, it's not, you can't email Walmart, but you can email a person who works there. And same with the deal, right? So we'll do that. And then even further, you can get more specific and say, well, any lead that opens this, or you could say, no, no, I want only the leads whose, for example, source is website, right? And so only the people that come in from the website and they click my email, I want something to happen. So you can get very specific here. Last step, what do you want to happen? 
right? And so it gives you the out-of-box Zoho options. Field update, really powerful. You can, for example, I see a lot of people do this. They change the lead status. Someone clicked their email, boom, lead status is potential client, for example, um, or the lead owner or whatever you want. So here you can assign an owner. You can also notify yourself. So you could send yourself an email or a team member an email when someone clicks an email. If you want, you can notify yourself on click or Slack. If you have the Slack extension, probably the most common one is task. So you could fire a task for yourself or the owner of the lead or a certain person in the company with a due date. And then the last two are more advanced and you can watch other videos on that, but you could send data externally to other databases and stuff like that. So to summarize, this is a really neat tool and you can technically make kind of a web, right? Of kind of automations, right? So when this happens, for example, the notify via email, then all of a sudden now they've clicked and you send another email and then they click that email and they send another email. So you could make a web. It's not recommended in this scenario scenario because Zoho has better tools to make those kind of webs for lack of a better word, HubSpot-esque client journeys. But I have seen people use this when someone clicks an email, boom, another email goes out. The last caveat I'll give on this is these emails have to be sent from the CRM because Zoho sends a little hidden pixel read receipt thing. And so if you're just sending an email from your Gmail, it's not going to track the click. It's not going to work. You have to send it from the CRM either via the send email and choose a template and send it or via a workflow automation. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Let me know if you're using this feature because we have a lot of clients starting to. Cheers.